This video shows the steps from start to finish when designing a part in the eMachine Shop CAD software. The part will be a simple bracket with four holes and a bend. Now let's design the bracket. Choose File, New, Blank Design to start a new design. Notice that designs begin in the top view. Go to the left toolbar and click the rectangle button. Go to the workspace and click the mouse once. Move the mouse and click again. Now set the exact size of the rectangle by going to the numeric bar. Enter 2 for the horizontal size and press the Enter key. Notice that the size of the rectangle has changed. Enter 3 for the vertical size. Finally, enter 0 0.062 inches as the Z value, which is the amount of material perpendicular to the screen. In this case, we are setting the thickness of the sheet. To make the drawing size fit to the screen size, we'll press the Zoom to Fit button. You can zoom out a bit by pressing the minus key on the keyboard. Let's check what we have so far in 3D. Click the Pyramid button to check the three-dimensional view. We can drag the cursor to rotate the view. Next, we'll add four holes for mounting screws. Click the circle button. Go to a blank area inside the rectangle and click. Move the mouse a bit and click again. Now we'll set the diameter of the circle to an exact value by going to the numeric bar. For a quarter inch hole, enter 0.25 and press the Enter key. Then set the Z value to ear inside to make the circle become a hole. Now we have the first of four holes. Let's make three copies. Click the Repeat button to make the second hole. Click the Repeat again for the third hole. And again for the fourth hole. Next, we'll drag one circle so that the center snaps to a corner. We'll use the nudge function to accurately position the holes. Nudge is an important feature which you should use often. First, set the nudge distance to 0 0.5. That's the distance a line will move each time an arrow key is pressed. Using the arrow keys, we'll nudge the circle into place. Drag the second hole to another corner. And nudge into place. Drag the third hole to another corner. And nudge into place. And drag the final hole to the remaining corner. And nudge into place. We're now done with the flat shape of the bracket. Let's check the three-dimensional view to make sure our drawing is as we planned. Click the Pyramid button. We can zoom in and out 
using the scroll bar. Next, we will add a bend. Click the line button. Go to the middle of the top line of the rectangle and notice the small square. The square indicates that we are snapping to the center of the line. Click and move to the center of the bottom line. Click again to complete the line. Now we need to assign the bend machine to this line. Click the machine button. Select bend. Leave the default angle of 90 degrees. Click OK. That completes the drawing. Now let's see the part again in the 3D view. Click the Pyramid button. The part is now complete with the holes and the bend. Let's close the 3D view. Next, we'll enter a few additional settings. Select Job Material. Let's choose Aluminum 5052 as the material. Click OK. Select Job Settings. Select Specifications Auto. Click the Economical 2D button. This choice will enter a set of manufacturing tolerances which would be appropriate for this part. Select General. Let's enter a quantity of 25. You would also enter a description of your part here. Over here, you can enter your address and ordering information. Then we'll click OK. Before we finish, let's have the automated analyzer check our drawing to make sure everything is OK. And we'll get an instant price at the same time. Click Job, Analyze. First, we'll see the price dialog. Several options are given of varying prices and delivery times. Click OK. Expert feedback appears on the right side of the screen. There are not critical errors, so we're ready to order. Use the order command to go ahead and place your order. Designing custom parts in eMachine Shop is quick and easy. Thanks for watching this introduction to designing parts in eMachine Shop.